Hello, my name is uh, the Bad Mini Painter, and uh, today we're going to paint up some grey knights um, because they look awesome, and I, I wanted to. Well, these are not grey knights; these are space marines. But I'm going to paint them up in the grey knight sheen. Yes. So now we have all the technicalities out of the way. Base. Um, The base paint, Jesus Christ. The base paint I used um, spray lead, uh, lead belcher and, and then I went in with the uh, Stormhose Silver um, and gave it uh, a fairly heavy dry brush. Basically all over the model. <coughs> Leaving uh, only uh, the base color in the crevices, um, recesses. And then I went in with the uh, Nuln Oil and I slapped that everywhere, all over the model. Because uh, Stormhose Silver is incredibly bright and uh, I didn't want to want these models to be looking like they were all new from the factory. Now I, I did the, the best I could to distribute it so I didn't do a heavy heavy thick layer but just got it into all the crevices and uh, recesses on the, on the model. Then I went back with the lead belcher and uh, cleaned up the gun a bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. And you can see I have some pooling going on here and there. I, I went in and repaired that with the Stormhole Silver. And then Corvus Black for the gun. And uh, this was when I discovered that uh, my Corvus Black had decided to self-destroy. You can see this big blob on my brush. Um, for some reason, uh, my Corvus Black has turned into gel. So I need to buy a new one. I, I've never had that with any other paints than Citadel paints. That they either dry up or they turn into gel kind of depending on what kind of paint it is, like the white or light colors, they will dry up and be little chunks, almost like uh, dry paints. And the darker ones will turn into gel, and the reds, that, it, it just, it's weird. I guess you can blame the awesome uh, parts they come in, just brilliant. Uh, well done Citadel for sticking to your mistake, that, that's wonderful. Um, Morphang Brown for uh, the pistol holster and the bags. Also the... Oh, don't drop your model. Uh, also the uh, pistol handle is uh, painted uh, with a golf black later. I just... I, I forgot. Mephist and Red for... Uh, yeah, you can see it. Uh, you can kind of see it. Well, for the sigil. You know? And then we go in with the Retributor Armor for some details or and for the um, chest plate decoration thing I'm about. And that actually ended up looking really cool. Grey Knights are probably one of the easiest um, Space Marine chapters to paint and like paint fast and get decent results from because you can add a lot of detail with basically just using washes it's um it's absolutely brilliant like that and if you look at them all now just with the washes and the dry brush um like everything is empathized and uh, the panel lining is done beautifully uh, for you it's it's, I recommend if you don't really like painting models, I recommend this uh, scheme because uh, you get a good result and you can be really bad and still get a good result. Screaming Skull for the parchment, by the way. Then Scrag Brown for some uh, detailing on the gun holster and the bags. Ah, not detailing, highlighting. Adding some uh, wear and tear for the leather. You know how, how uh, brown leather tends to, uh, to be lighter around corners or edges. That's kind of the aesthetics I'm going for here. Like, uh, 
wear and tear from being brushed against stuff. I mean, imagine like him sitting down, he's going to scrape the living shit out of that leather. Then some more Stormhose Silver. This time for uh, uh, the little um, like, uh, buttons on the holster and stuff like that. And a little bit of highlighting on the gun. I decided that that was okay. Also I used the tool to clean up where the non known oil has gotten on a little bit too heavy. Finally, Agrax Earthshade for the parchment and the bags. You can't see it because I don't know how to work a camera. Uh, and also the gun. That part you can't see. But that's more by luck than... Right. And as the last uh, little bit of thing, um, his eyes need some color. And I decided to do Azul Ultramarine from Vallejo. It's, it's a dark blue. And I think uh, the contrast with the silver was uh, fairly nice. Um, and I use a very uh, fine brush and try to just dab it. Um, the cool thing about this is that as soon as you make contact it will kind of start running off the brush. Which could be pretty shitty but in this case it's kind of cool. And the final result. Now, this is a model I'm actually happy with. I think it looks good. It's like it's ready for the tabletop, uh, it looks decent, it, it has a nice amount of detailing. Um, I guess it, it, that, that's a decent paint job. It's very rarely that I say that about my own paint jobs. But this one I'm sticking to. It, it's good, there's no major mistakes or fuck ups, it's, it's just like well done. Right? Ah, I'm right. Anywho. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do uh, leave a like uh, and subscribe. If there's something you want me uh, to paint, let me know in the comments. I'm very open for suggestions. It's always fun to be challenged. Um, and uh, enjoy your day. Bye.